Hey guys, welcome to your to my channel. At welcome to your channel. Wow. Okay. Okay, profile. What are you doing to me? Like <laughs> What are you doing to me? Okay, welcome to your channel. Thank you for stopping by and inviting me as a guest speaker. <laughs> So today what are we talking about? Okay, today we are going to talk about as per the title these people who cry themselves sick. And when I talk about crying themselves sick, I'm talking about love. Eh, nyo mapenzi na uma. But even if it hurts, I I don't think that you should cry yourself sick now your world should stop because you broke up with somebody. Stop creating your world around people so that when they leave you you feel like, "Eh, okay, we are out of mass now, we are in space." That's not what I want to happen to you. So, have you subscribed? Yes. So, let's keep watching and let I keep talking. So, as I was saying that these people who who cry themselves sick because you broke up with somebody. Have you ever had these stories of people now that because you broke up with somebody then from nowhere you got answers from that particular relationship. You're the people that I'm talking about today like you have to be mentally strong. Yes, najua mapenzi itaji six pack kama tubaridi. Ni money ju six pack fear breakups don't know six packs but what I'm trying to tell you is you don't have to do that. You don't have to turn yourself into an alcoholic or a drug addict because of a breakup. People divorce, marriages end uh, these long term marriages for prominent people, people on the spotlight, their marriages end. But that does not mean that somebody will get to the extent that they are depressed now you throw yourself somewhere. No. You know when you're completely on your own, one thing that I believe is when you're complete on your own, even if anything happens to you, you'll always have your own back. But if you 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 depend on people to have your back all the time, man, suta umia. Uta garamika. So what I'm trying to say is you don't have to, to to beat yourself so hard over things that you cannot control. For example, when you're in this particular relationship, then when you break up with this particular person, the first thing that I always tell everybody that has ever come to me with breakup issues, eat. The reason why I'm telling you to eat is because you need that energy to cry when you're alone. You know when you're with people, they'll make relationships look so easy, breakups to look so easy. Yes, I know I am that person who will make you feel like and yet this breakup is nothing. But when you are alone, you start crying because you feel like eh, my world is apart. But what I'm trying to tell you is, eat. After you eat, you'll get the energy to cry. And you'll not cry for long. You know when you're satisfied, you don't cry for long. Have you ever noticed when you're hungry now you cry because you're hungry you cry because <laughs> no like a hungry man is an angry man when you're hungry and you're crying you'll cry a lot of things but when you're you're satisfied and you're crying like you'll just cry little you, you won't spend much more time crying wasting your time you'll be too satisfied to cry in fact you'll just sleep you wake up the next day and you're like oh i forgot to cry <laughs> So the next thing that I like to tell these particular people again, you know when you are sick, listen to what happens when you have that answers that came from a breakup. You see, now you brought upon yourself something that you cannot control and answers is in a joke strike. They just wait when you've forgotten, then the devil decides to prick the answers. When you know, just come up, all the time they keep on reminding you that, you know what, I came from a heartbreak. I am a baby from a heartbreak and akuna kitu inabo kama you've forgotten about something then something else just reminds you of things that you want to forget. So you'll be having this ulcers and the ulcers is a prolonged sickness. Oh my god, I don't want to talk about other illness that come with me. Major illness that comes with breakers, most of the people need ulcers. What I'm trying to say is that, you know when you have these particular ulcers, the moment you try to forget, Zina strike again. This other person, my shake ko complete, they are happy wherever they are. Then there is you is always trying to treat illness that remind you of the person that you want to forget. 
I won't wish somebody to wish that. I even won't wish that on my worst enemy because now you ha we want to forget something and again you can't forget it because the moment you try to forget it, something else reminds you of that thing that you want to forget. So kindly don't put yourself in situations whereby it will prolong things that you want to forget. You deserve happiness. So if nobody tells you this, then I am telling you for free. You deserve happiness. And by deserving happiness is to choose. Nojo happiness is free. But choosing is it does choosing it is also free. Just maintaining it is what is expensive actually. So try by all means things about your past. When you clear your past, you just forget about things about your past. That's when you become happy. And one of the ways is just to not put yourself in situations whereby it will like make things grow from the past. That when you try to approve they grow again. CG command may make sense. I don't know if you've understood what I've tried to say there. But don't make yourself sick from a heartbreak. Point number one. Don't refuse to eat from a heartbreak. You deserve that food. Somebody is somewhere enjoying, then you, you're just there pity partying. You don't have to pity party. You don't. Like, you're too good to be pity partying. You're too good to be mentally weak you are too good to be crying every day you are too beautiful to be to look so tattered and scattered and all over the place you just look too good to be all those bad things i don't know naelewa me i just do kama nawaelewesha kama nawapoteza but if you're getting something kindly comment down below okay so that's it for this video. Let's meet in my next video. I know it's been a very short video. I just wanted to address this because I feel like it's too much. It's been something that has been ringing on my mind for a very long time. So it's high time we talk about it. Don't make yourself sick from things. And don't turn into something that you did not want to be. Ujawai tamani kwa mlevi kulala kwa mitaro. Then from nowhere just because of a small heartbreak. Now you want to be that common person, common, common levy. You are everywhere. Like for real. Una dependa Do you know the meaning of self love? Then you'll come on our Facebook. We see your notification, Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp. That self love. What's self love? Are you loving yourself when you make yourself super drunk, super something that you did not want to be? Not, no. Like kuko mlevi simba. By the way, taking alcohol is not bad. But when it comes from something that you're not accountable of, that because of somebody I'm doing this, then we will not support you. If you're doing it from your own head, do it. And if you're happy from whatever you're doing, just do it. But when it comes from, at you know, so and so did this and this, so I feel like I should just do this and this. I should just drink myself to pulp or something so that I can forget them. Man, kuna kitu moja hapa ifanyi kazi. Go to the hospital, get yourself checked. So that's it for this video. Let's meet in my next video. Bye, guys.